very good Monday afternoon to you and welcome to Court TV Live. I'm your midday host, Julie Grant. We're in week number two, day number four of the dueling defamation cases playing out in Fairfax County, Virginia between Hollywood A-lister Johnny Depp and his ex-wife, Amber Heard. Depp and Heard arrived this morning at the courthouse for week two of testimony in their civil cases. And this could be a huge week because sources very close to us are telling us there is a strong possibility that Johnny Depp will be giving testimony this week. So stay tuned for that. Now on the stand right now, a nurse who was part of the treatment program for him for his substance abuse problems. Her name is Debbie Lloyd. Uh, she's a nurse practitioner. She specializes in psychiatry and addiction. And this is more deposition testimony that's being played for the jury. Let's go back in together now. And some of Johnny's staff and Dr. Kipper came at some point. How did you, how did you get to Mr. Depp's Island? Flew. And then what do you take a boat to the, to his island? Yes. Um, and if we go to, in the same document, Kipper 69, which I believe is page 17. There we go. Um, well, you see where it says 8814? Yes. And it says arrived on island today? Yes. Does that mean that? You arrived on the island at, on August 8th, 2014? Um, according to my notes. Okay. And on August 9th, um, 2014, it says patient expressed fears of never feeling normal without his drugs. You wrote that? Yes. Okay. And is that something that Mr. Depp told you? According to my notes, yes. And if we go uh, two pages uh, to Chipper 71. Oh, you can, yeah, there we go. Um, you see where it says uh, at the top, uh, MD's flight has been canceled. Yes. Arrangements, okay, arrangements are being made for him to arrive on the island 8, 12, 14. Yes. Um, so according to your notes, Dr. Kipper after the flight was canceled, was set to arrive on the island on August 12th, 2014. According to my notes. Ms. Lloyd, I'm showing you it's been marked as um, exhibit, Lloyd Exhibit 2, which is ALH uh, 16110 through 113. Do you remember uh, texting with Amber at all while um, you were on the island with Mr. Depp? That is some of how we communicated, yes. And is this refresh your recollection that Amber was at least at some point on the island with Mr. Depp during the detox? Yes. The gray uh, part of the text is, is your text, correct? Yes. And the, and the blue is Amber? Yes. And is in the gray part of the text um, where it shows a phone number there, is that your, is that your cell phone number? Yes. Ms. Lloyd, I'm showing you what's been marked as Exhibit 3, text message chain between you and Amber Heard on August 16th, 2014. Um, and again, the, the, in the gray box where it shows your a phone number, that's your phone number, correct? Correct. And, and this, Ms. Lloyd, I'm showing you what's been marked as Lloyd Exhibit 4, um, text message chain between you and Amber on August 18th, 2014. You see that? E yes. Okay. Do you recall when on the island, Amber would be telling you how Mr. Depp was doing? According to these texts, that's what was happening, yes. Um, do you recall how long you were on the island? I do not. Okay. Um, in a day, in a day, do you recall how long you would see Mr. Depp? It varied. Um, 
Would there be reasons why it varied as to how long you'd see Mr. Depp in a day? I don't recall what, how it was determined. How far away were you from where Mr. Depp was staying? Five to 10 minutes. By foot or by something, some other transportation? By a John Deere tractor. Okay. And where, what type of place were you staying in on the island? It was a yurt. And you, were you staying with anyone? I was by myself some of the time, and then Dr. Kipper was also in the yurt for some of the time. Okay. And did the yurt have separate rooms? Yes. <clears throat> and would you, would you typically uh, eat with Mr. Depp? Married. Um, and what was your, it, it, when you were on the island, what was your role in terms of Mr. Depp's detox? Medication okay. management. And what do you mean by medication management? To administer medications. And was Dr. Kipper uh, the person who was um, prescribing the medications? Yes. <clears throat> Did, as part of um, the um, medication management, did Mr. Depp get a, a bag of meds? You can answer to the extent you know. Did I give Mr. Depp a bag of medications? E either you or Dr. Kipper? Not that I recall. Okay. I'll stay on this last page for a second of Lloyd Four. Um, the picture of, uh, looks like a pillbox, right? Correct. Did, would you have provided um, either Mr. Depp or Ms. Heard Mr. Depp's medications in a, in a box like this? Yes. Okay, well, why don't we actually just take a break um, for right for this moment? We've been about an hour. Um, take a, I don't know how, five minute break. Is there any reason to believe where you wrote RN received text from fiance? that that's not a text you received from Amber Heard? No. It's, Lloyd Exhibit 5 is a, a chart of text messages we received from, in a production from Mr. Depp. Um, it is Depp 7819. Um, you see the second entry, entry 131? Um, yes. Okay. And where in, in the third uh, row, there's your name and, and above that name is a phone number. Is that your phone number? Yes. And you, you, would, you would sometimes text message with Mr. Depp too, correct? Correct. Okay. Um, you see, it says in the body on that one, uh, row 131, I will come by 80 within an hour to drop meds off just in case. How are you feeling? Your, your head back on straight. Uh, do you see that? I see that. Okay. And this was a text you wrote to um, Mr. Depp? According to this. Right. Do you recall um, as of around August 26, 2014, um, what you meant by your head back on straight? I don't recall. And then Mr. Depp responded to you, you see in the next uh, row? Pretty much, I don't have the ability to take anything more on my... ...simple math. Do you recall receiving that text from Mr. Depp? I don't recall. No, I don't recall receiving that. Okay. Do you have any reason to believe you did not receive this text from Mr. Depp? No. If we go back to um, Exhibit 1, and if you can go to um, Kipper 101, and you see where it says 
0125 under September 22nd, 2014? Yes. Okay. And you wrote, uh, RN received text from patient stating that he'd been in an argument with fiance and she, quote, had a nasty freak out, end quote, and he would like RN to come give him. PRN and Seroquel, 50 milligrams, and that RN was on her way over. You wrote that? Yes. Do you recall anything about what um, the nasty freak out that um, Mr. Depp was referring to about Amber? I do not recall. And then you see the note for uh, 3.30 for September 22nd, 2014. Yes. Okay. And again, that's 3.30 in the, in the morning, right? Correct. And you wrote, upon arriving at the home, patient was sitting in kitchen with scraped and bloody knuckles on right hand. Patient stated he punched whiteboard in kitchen after fight. Patient stated he'd been texting his friend explaining why he didn't show up to play music and fiance got upset that he was not giving her enough support and the fight escalated from there. Um, you wrote that. You wrote that note. According to this, yes. Do you do you recall going to Mr. Depp's home and seeing him with scraped and bloody knuckles on his right hand? I do not recall. Do you ever recall um, any incident where Mr. Depp had claimed he punched a whiteboard in the kitchen? I do not. Do you have any reason to believe where you wrote that you wrote upon arriving at the home, patient was sitting in kitchen with scraped and bloody knuckles on right hand. <clears throat> Would you have written that based on your observation of Mr. Depp? Yes. Um, on Kipper 111, there's a, there's a highlighted note at 1930 for October 14th. Do you see that? Oh, wait, one minute. Uh, yes. Okay. And, and you wrote, a patient finished filming and was extremely agitated leaving the set. Patient kicked in the door of his trailer and refused to speak to director. Patient was verbally aggressive to another person on the set. So no apparent, for no apparent reason, per MD, patient is to take Xanax two milligrams to reduce his agitation at this time. You wrote that? According to these notes, yes. And was were these notes based on your observation of Mr. Depp? I don't recall. Would you go to Miss? Would you? Did you ever attend filming where Miss where Mr. Depp was filming? Johnny Depp's yeah. substance abuse problems are front and center today. The start of day number four of this case. We're going to squeeze in a quick break. We'll get you back into the courtroom for more next. E two hundred now. We have some breaking news out of Ohio to share with you now. The jury in the Dr. William Husel trial has reached an impasse. They have told the court they are unable to reach a unanimous verdict in this case. Dr. Husel, the former ICU doctor in Columbus, Ohio, accused of murdering 14 of his patients by giving them lethal doses of the opioid fentanyl. That's what this case has been about. It's gone on for several weeks. The jury been out several days. So after the jury went to the court telling the court that they're at an impasse, the judge then gave the men and women of the jury what's called in most jurisdictions the Allen charge. This is an instruction to the jury that encourages them to re-examine everything, re-examine their own position, the positions of their fellow jurors, and to go back into the jury room and continue trying to reach a unanimous verdict. So the judge also told them to go to lunch too. They're going to lunch first and then when they 
come back, that is when they'll resume their deliberations. So as soon as we hear anything else coming from Columbus, Ohio, we are going to share it with you live here on Court TV and take you inside the courtroom if there is a verdict. What we're going to do now is go back inside another courtroom, the courtroom where Johnny Depp and Amber Heard are facing off in their cases involving defamation claims against one another. On the stand right now, a woman who worked as a nurse practitioner helping to treat Johnny Depp's substance abuse problems. Let's go in together. You look sorry to bother you. Is JD up? He has an important appointment at 2 p.m. and he isn't responding to me. Hope you guys had a beautiful Christmas. And Amber wrote, hey there. Yes, he is. He's opening presents with Lily Rose. What appointment is he being picked up? Uh, who's Lily Rose? Johnny's daughter. Did you ever see Mr. Depp Super Stone when you were working with him? I don't recall. Does that mean it, that you never saw him stoned or you just don't recall one way or the other? I don't recall one way or another. Do you know who the wit is? is? Amber's sister. Okay. Do you recall any time where Mr. Depp seemed confused about something that had occurred? I don't. Did you ever recall Mr. Depp wondering if he and Amber had had a fight or if he was dreaming? I don't recall. Do you recall Mr. Depp ever not taking the medications he was prescribed? Yes. Okay. Did you recall Mr. Depp sometimes potentially doubling the medications that he was prescribed? I recall thinking that at times. Did you believe that Mr. Depp wanted to detox off of drugs? What was your answer? Yes. And how did Mr. De how did Mr. Depp show you that? It was on his own free will that he hired us to be with him. And then did Mr. Depp have any um, relapses with drugs when you were working with him? I don't recall. You recall Mr. Depp and working with him ever take cocaine? Not that you necessarily saw him, but that you understood that he that took cocaine. I, I never saw Mr. Depp use cocaine. Did you have any understanding that Mr. Depp took cocaine, whether you saw it or not? I don't recall. Did you administer drug tests to Mr. Depp? In the beginning. Did you see the results of the drug tests? Yes. Did you see Mr. Depp being positive for taking cocaine? I don't recall. Do you recall accompanying Mr. Depp to Australia? Yes. In, okay. And do you recall accompanying Mr. Depp to Australia in around March of 2015? I don't remember dates. Do you recall accompanying Mr. Depp to Australia when he was filming Pirates of the Caribbean 5? I do. Okay. Um, where were you staying in Australia in relation to Mr. Depp? Uh, distance wise? Yeah, how far away were you from him? About 30 minutes. Okay. When, where was Mr. Depp staying? In a rental house. And where were you staying? In an apartment. And what, what city were you in? I don't recall the name. Okay. And was Dr. Kipper there with you? He came and went. Did you fly to Australia with Mr. Depp? Sometimes I did, and other times I flew on a um, commercial. Do you recall talking to Dr. Blaustein about Mr. Depp in Australia? I do not. Do you recall Mr. Depp not doing very well while he was in Australia? As of March 1st, 2015. I don't recall anything around that time. Do you have an understanding as to what Mr. Depp was doing with Marilyn Manson? I do not. Did you ever tell Dr. Kipper that Mr. Depp was doing what he wants with, with Marilyn Manson? I don't recall. Do you recall Marilyn Manson being in Australia with Mr. Depp? I do not. It says Debbie is worried and somewhat exhausted. 
Um, do you recall being exhausted while in Australia and working with Mr. Depp? I do not. Do you have any reason to believe that what Dr. Kipper wrote is not true? I do not. Okay. <clears throat> um, we can take this down. And um, go back to uh, exhibit one. And if we could go to uh, Kipper 157. You see 3715? I do. Okay. Before I ask, do you recall how long you were in Australia with Mr. Depp? No, however long the filming of Pirates was. Okay. And at 3715 at 1130, you wrote, MD received a text message from client that he'd been arguing with wife and that he had cut his finger. According to patient, his assistant and security were on their way to pick him up. You wrote that? According to my notes, yes. Is there any reason to believe you didn't write that note? No. Okay. <clears throat> Do you recall Dr. Kipper receiving a text message from Mr. Depp about Mr. Depp cutting his finger? I don't. I don't. I'm just what this note says. Okay. Do you recall going to Mr. Depp's house after learning that he had cut his finger? Yes. What do you recall about that? That we went to the house and he, he I, I actually, I don't even think I went in at first. Dr. Kipper went in and um, he had cut his finger and we took him to the emergency room where his finger had been cut. Do you recall what the house looked like when you went in? Yes. What did the house look like? It was a mess. Hey, can you describe how it was a mess? I don't remember details, but I remember there was some writing on the wall and I remember a smash TV. Do you remember what any of the writing said on the wall? I do not. Did you, um, and you said you recall the smash TV? Yes. Do you recall, um, was Amber in the house? I don't recall. Do you recall seeing Amber that day? No, I don't recall. Do you recall what rooms you went through of the house, Mr. Depp's house? I remember looking for his finger in the downstairs area. And what was in the downstairs area? Or what rooms were in the downstairs area? It was like a pool table entertainment room. Did you look anywhere else around the house? I don't recall. What was the um, pool table entertainment room? Was that a mess? I don't recall. Do you recall um, going into the kitchen of the house? I don't recall. Um, do you recall finding Mr. Depp's finger? I did not. Do you know who found Mr. Depp's finger? Yes. Who? Ben. Ben who? I don't remember his last name. And who, who was Ben in relation to Mr. Depp? He's like our house manager. Do you recall, do you recall where the finger was found? I do not. Do you recall if Mr. Depp appeared to have uh, dirt, grime, and paint on his hands? Yes, he did. He did. Um, do you recall seeing any glass anywhere? I do not. 
Do you recall smelling any alcohol? I do not. So who else was with you when you went to the hospital? Uh, Malcolm and Stephen. And who were Malcolm and Stephen? Uh, Stephen was his assistant and Malcolm was one of his security guards. Do you recall who was holding the piece of finger that had been cut? Ben brought it to the ER. What did Ben bring the finger in? I don't recall. Was it on ice, the finger? I don't recall. <clears throat> did you ask Mr. Depp how he cut his finger? I don't recall if I asked him. Did you ask anyone how Mr. Depp had cut his finger? I don't recall. Do you have any understanding as to how Mr. Depp cut his finger? I heard different stories from people. What were the different stories you heard? I had heard that Amber threw a bottle of vodka at him. I had heard that he slammed it. Um, Ooh, we're going to hear more about all the nasty back and forth between these two right after this. Don't go anywhere. This is Court TV Live. We are your front row seat to justice. Shopguilt.com today. Unable to land the acting roles they say they once did, Johnny Depp and Amber Heard are bringing the Hollywood drama to the courtroom in their dueling defamation cases. Week two of testimony has commenced. Welcome to our Court TV coverage. We're so glad to have you with us. On the stand right now is Johnny Depp's private nurse. Her name is Debbie Lloyd. Let's go back in live to the courtroom. You'll see she's testifying via some pre-recorded deposition testimony. I know Kipper loves you and would always want to continue your care if you're no longer using. You wrote that to Mr. Depp? According to this. And this text was on your phone, correct? Correct. And what did you mean by uh, Kipper loves you and would always want to continue your, your care if you're no longer using? I don't know what, just what it says. No longer I using? I don't know what that was regarding. You don't know what no longer using is referring to? I do not. <clears throat> and then Mr. Depp wrote, I don't know, I'm going to stop it all except whatever I was on before and just deal with it. You received that text from Mr. Depp? Yes. Do you know what he was referring to where he said, I'm going to stop it all except whatever I was on before and just deal with it? I do not know what that's regarding. And then you wrote, I respect whatever decisions you'll make. I'll be sad to leave the crew as I love you all. I hope to always be in touch, even if you choose not to continue a working relationship. Miss you already. I will get in touch with Kevin and get my stuff out. Or 72 soon hugs. You wrote that message to Mr. Depp. According to this. Okay. And then Mr. Depp wrote, take care, darling. I cannot ever thank you enough all you've done for me. On the junkie side and the broken heart side, you've been a lifesaver, literally. We'll be seeing each other again, sweetheart. Love you so much, little Debbie, and so does my entire crew, X. You received that text message from Mr. Depp? According to this, yes. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Miss Lloyd, I'm showing you what's been marked as uh, exhibit Lloyd 17, uh, which is Lloyd 158 through 160, um, which is a text message between you and, and Johnny Depp uh, from your phone. You see that? Yes. Okay. And um, on March 27th, 2015, um, you wrote, uh, good morning, sleepyhead. Aaron came by to give you a shot. You were still sleeping. Um, take the cold form of Tartaral to hold you over and I'll check in with you when I'm done my appointment in Beverly Hills. Uh, and then you wrote, have you taken pill? If not, hold off and Aaron is on her way to give you injection. You see that? Yes. Okay. 
and, and you wrote that text message, correct? Or those messages? Yes. Okay. And then on the next page, um, Mr. Uh, you received that message from Mr. Depp? Yes. And he's talking about his, his finger there, correct? Yes. And you received that text message from Amber, correct? Correct. Right. And then you wrote, he's at the studio with Marcus and is supposed to call me when he gets back to the lofts. I will drive up there if you want me to. Always feel weird showing up unexpected. Do you want me to go? You wrote that text message to Amber? I don't recall, but according to this, yes. Uh, and do you know who Marcus is? Uh, yes. Who is Marcus? Marcus Mumford. And, and what was his relationship to Mr. Depp? Friend. Okay. And then you wrote, I know Stephen is there. Let me just check in and see what I can find out. I'll get right back to you. So who is Stephen? His assistant. All right. Do you ever remember checking if Mr. Depp had been taking cocaine? I don't remember specifically asking any questions related to that. Is there any reason to believe that you didn't do what you said in your text message? No. Do you recall what you were giving Mr. Depp Valium for? I do not. Ms. Lloyd, showing you again what's been marked as Exhibit 1, and I'm going to point you to um, Kipper 167, which is from April 13th, 2015. Do you see it? Do you see the, the entry for 1500? Yes. All right. Um, you wrote um, bandage changed and hand exercises done at appointment with surgeon's office. Per RN at surgeon's office and occupational therapist, hand is healing well and finger has good range of motion. Exercises to be done three to five times per day. Patient is in good spirits and said he's not smoked marijuana in three days. States he feels majority of his issues with his wife have been from him using drugs and alcohol. Patient states he will no longer sneak, use, and wants to enjoy clarity. You wrote, you wrote that? Yes. Okay. And these are part of your nurse's notes? Yes. Okay. And Mr. Depp told you that he felt the majority of his issues with his wife had been from him using drugs and alcohol. According to the note, yes. And Mr. Depp wrote, he will no longer sneak, use, and wants to enjoy clarity. According to the document, yes. Um, what is being referred to as no longer sneak, use? I only know what's stated in my notes. Okay. Would it be anything other than drugs or alcohol? I don't recall. Was there anything that Mr. Depp was sneaking other than drugs and alcohol that you were concerned about? I don't recall. If we go to uh, 175, Kipper 175 on this page, on this document, um, it's notes for June 28, 2015. It says at 1700, RN received initial results from brain MRI. No obvious. We need to squeeze in a quick break. Don't go anywhere. More Court TV Live and more specifically of Depp versus Heard after this. Dicks. Welcome back to Court TV Live, your front row seat to justice. I'm Julie Grant. Thanks for being with us on this Monday, day four of Depp versus Heard. On the stand is Depp's personal 
nurse. Uh, her name is Debbie Lloyd. Uh, she was part of his substance abuse recovery plan. We're going to go back in. Uh, she's testifying via deposition. A lot of this testimony was recorded in advance, uh, perhaps because of witness unavailability at the time of trial. But uh, at any rate, some of the details, they're really, really ugly. Uh, let's go back and watch some more together. According to this text. And Mr. Depp was... I'm just going back to exhibit um, one for a moment. So if we can go back to Kipper uh, 167. And Ms. Lloyd, um, I'd ask you to look at the uh, entries for April 14th the bot it's at the bottom okay um you wrote at 1400 RN and MD arrived at patients home to have meeting to set treatment plan and boundaries while traveling in Australia you wrote that? Correct. And the RN is you, correct? Yes. And the MD is Dr. Kipper, correct? Correct. And do you recall what the uh, treatment plans and boundaries were while traveling in Australia as of April uh, 2015? <coughs> I do not recall. And then if we go to the next page. Um, you see the April 15th entries? Uh, yes. Okay. And at 12.15, you write, arrived at patient's home, assistant was in hallway and informed RN that patient was in a bad mood and told assistant he did not need anything from him today. RN was led in home by security and knocked on patient's door to let him know she was there. Patient screamed, what? RN informed patient she was letting him know she was there and would be downstairs. About five minutes later, security came into house and informed RN that patient has told security to get everyone out of his home and he did not want any more unexpected guests. RN left the property and informed MD of the events. Her MD dropped tomorrow's meds off with security and do not reach out to patient again. Wait for patient to reach out to medical team. You wrote that note? Correct. And this document and also this note also talks about you informing Dr. Kipper about what happened that in this note, correct? Yes. This Lloyd I'm showing what's been marked as Lloyd 21. Um, you see at April 15th at the bottom, there's a text from Mr. Depp. Yes. And he wrote, hey, sweetheart, I'm so sorry about today. I thought you were Stephen, whom I'm not particularly enthused about for his loss of loyalty. Goddamn Grand Central Station. I'm truly sorry if I upset you. If you like, you can give me some morphine to see if my tongue and penis touch. All my love, Jay. Did you receive this text from Mr. Depp? Um, it appears so. I don't, okay. yes. Okay. Um, do you do you have any understanding as to what Mr. Depp was referring to where he says um, um, going back to um, your work for Dr. Kipper um, you said I think you testified earlier you cared for multiple patients that were of Dr. Kipper's correct correct and um, when you would care for Dr. Kipper's patients, how would you um, report their status to Dr. Kipper? Objection vague. Uh, multiple different resources, phones, texts, verbal, te verbal and written. And how often would you report to Dr. Kipper about his patients? It responded 
I mean, it, it um, depended on different patients, varied. And I believe you testified earlier that you maintain nursing notes for those patients, correct? Correct. Um, what type of information did you maintain in these notes? And mainly we provide a care given and patients responses to care given or any external factors that could affect the patient. Is there any information that you would not include in your notes? Not, I'm sorry, I didn't catch your answer. Uh, not specifically. Other than Dr. Kipper, does anyone else review your notes? Um, if another nurse was to work on the case, they could re, uh, have access to the notes. And um, does Dr. Kipper advise you on any information that should be maintained in your notes? Not directly. Has he ever told you that certain information should not be included in your notes? No. How long have, when did you um, become a registered nurse? 2004. And have you been employed as a registered nurse um, from that time up until you became a nurse practitioner? Yes. Um, in your time as a registered nurse, have you ever had a patient that you suspected was the victim of domestic abuse? No.